We got coaching changes. We got firings. It's fantastic. Everybody's getting fired now. It's good towards the end of the yeah, season. The you start the season. <laughs> Except for Anthony Andy. Looking at you, Anthony Arthur Smith. <laughs> oh, we know who you were talking about, sir. We know who you're talking about. <laughs> but we're going to bring on one of our buddies. You know him well. He's an old timer or whatever. You know, he's, he's been around. Uh, but Sean is going to join us now. Sean Spencer, ladies and gentlemen. Sean, come on in. There he is. What's up, Shawnee? Sean, how are you? How was your uh, turkey day this past weekend? How's, how was it? I mean, it was good. It was good. Minus about four hours. But, you know, <laughs> other than that, we ate early. You know, everything else was good. Was great. It was a great day. Well, great of day. course, we brought you on because, as we all know, you are a Washington Commanders fan. And you guys decided, I mean, outside of trading half of your defensive line uh, a couple of weeks back, you have also now fired your defensive coordinator, Mr. Jack Del Rio. And it fired your defensive backs coach, Brent Visselmeyer, or Wieselmeyer, however you pronounce that. What are your thoughts on this, man? Uh, what is uh, your opinion of all this? I mean, all these moves and, and what, what the commanders are doing. Does this Is all of this moving towards the end of Ron Rivera in Washington? What do you think, man? You're, you're the expert here. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think the writing's been on the wall ever since, you know, Dan Snyder was ousted out of Washington and the Josh Harris group came in. I mean, we knew what was happening. And I think a lot of Washington fans thought it was going to be an immediate change, but no. And I love what the Harris group did. They wanted to see what they had. And we've seen Ron Rivera struggled. Jack Del Rio. Listen, it's about time for him. I mean, if we look back, there was a stat that said at the four seasons that he's been here uh, in the first four games, our defense has averaged given up something like, 28 points a game and then from games like 5 to 17 it would go under 20 points but it's still double digits so I mean I, I was one that you know used the phrase Ben but don't break all the time but this year just the bottom fell out and a lot of people say oh well you're not getting the pass rush now because of Chase Young and Montez Sweat look they really weren't doing much when they were in the game for us at least um, so for me this is this is Still part of the course. I mean, we knew when Chase and Montez got traded away that uh, that people, you know, everybody needs to, you know, get their resume ready. Make sure, make sure you got good film and tape on yourself and all that good stuff. <laughs> We're not looking great on the field, um, but uh, yeah. So I'm glad with that one. And and then with the other guy, the DBs coach. This guy was like a high school coach. Like you know, once we lost, once Chris Harris, uh, we lost him this off season. He went to the Titans. Um, our DBs coach, they kind of elevated this guy. This guy's like a no name in it. And for me, when I heard this, I was like, oh, Ron. I was like, oh, okay, Jack the Real got fired. And I was like, who, who's the other guy? <laughs> who? okay. All right. Oh, man. It's like one of those things where you're like, hey, nice to meet you. Okay, goodbye. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I, I feel like this is the first time I'm getting anything. Uh, uh, any type guy, of right. him, but, you know, oh, but, okay. Hey, at the end of the day, we're at the same spot. I mean, all of us, except for Tina and her brown yeah. guys. But the rest of us, we're in the same spot. You know, so we're kind of yeah. jostling for uh, draft pick position and all this type of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, sure. I mean, we know what's coming. Yeah, no, no. And, you know, again, it's, it, it's sad to see because I actually, you and I obviously talk a lot about this and, I've always made fun of your commanders just because, you know, you were bit high on Sam Holland. We would joke about that and go back and forth. But the fact that our our teams are both basically in the same boat now, it's just not funny anymore because it's just not fun to watch. So it's hard to make fun of you when my team is just as bad, if not worse. So, you know, I, I'm going to give you a break on that one, pal. You know, I can't say anything. 